Tonight with the WBZ exclusive, we are seeing new video showing how a BU student fell down an elevator shaft at Fenway Park. We're also hearing from witnesses who saw what happened for the first time. This is a look now at the elevator door. Take a look. It easily swings open, almost like a doggy door at the bottom there. Elizabeth Scotland suffered severe brain and spine injuries when she fell last spring. Jim Armstrong is live at Fenway Park tonight, and we know her family, Jim, has now filed a lawsuit. Well, Paula, that family lawsuit really makes it sound like the victim in this case was doing absolutely nothing wrong when this accident happened and tragedy struck. But at least one eyewitness who was on the fourth floor at the time tells investigators a very different story. This video, obtained exclusively by WBZ, shows the door of the fourth floor elevator at Fenway Park practically swinging open at an investigator's touch. It's through this door the 22-year-old Elizabeth Scotland fell, plunging 25 feet, landing on the top of this elevator car below. In state reports reviewed by WBZ, it seems clear this door was in working order that day in May. And what caused it to open like this is what's at issue. In a new lawsuit, the Scotland family claims Elizabeth had, quote, casual contact with the door, which swung wide open. But that does not match witness accounts. They weren't running into it. They were just kind of pushing against it, stationary, so to speak. WBZ has also obtained exclusive recordings of interviews done with those closest to this investigation, including an eyewitness who says the victim's contact with the door was anything but casual. What we saw before that were like people pushed up against it, almost like goofing around playing. Uh, that's, that's the way I could describe it, almost like when you're leaning against the door, pushing against it. That's kind of what I saw. But the family's lawsuit still holds the Red Sox ownership accountable. In fact, state inspectors concluded although the door was okay that day, it does have a long history of problems and had been broken and repaired so many times it was, quote, vulnerable to fail. The official state report concluded that Scotland apparently jumped on her father's back to give him a hug. And when she jumped off, she may have done so with enough force to fall backwards, hitting up against an already weakened elevator door, causing it to open. That's the conclusion the state reached. The case now heads to Superior Court as Miss Scotland continues her long rehabilitation. By the way, we did reach out to Red Sox management for their reaction to this report tonight. They chose not to comment except to say they wish the Scotland family well. Live at Fenway Park, Jim Armstrong, WBZ News.